Hello. Welcome to the lesson Naming Words Singular and Plural. I am excited to have you here. Let's begin. Shall we? Click on Begin Lesson to start the lesson. In this lesson, we will learn the difference between singular and plural naming words or nouns. How to use singular and plural naming words or nouns correctly? How to change singular naming words to plural naming words? Before we start this lesson, Let's understand what you already know about this topic and what you want to know about this topic. Drag and place the options in the appropriate box. The meaning of singular naming words. The meaning of plural naming words. How to change singular naming words to plural naming words. Very good! Sharing what you know and what you want to learn will help you improve your own learning. Let's meet Radha and Saira. They recently joined a company as front office assistants. This is Radha's second job. She has an experience of one year as a front office assistant. Click on next to see where Radha and Saira are. Radha and Saira are at their front desk. Their manager is organizing a training. She has asked Radha to make a list of the materials needed for the training. The list had these words folders, notepads, printers, A4 sheets, stamp pads, whiteboard. Click here to know Saira's questions. Saira looked at the list. She knew the word folder. She did not understand why Radha wrote folders instead of folder. Radha had also added an S to the other words. Saira was confused. Shall we help her understand? Click on Yes button to help Saira. The word folder means one folder. The word folders means more than one folder. When a naming word is used to name only one person, place, thing or an idea, it is called a singular naming word. Let us take a look at the images given below. This is a printer. This is a chair. When a naming word is used to name more than one person, place, thing or an idea, it is called a plural naming word. Let us take a look at the images given below. These are printers. These are chairs. Plural naming words are formed by adding S, ES or IES to a singular naming word. Click on next to continue. Most naming words are made plural by adding S at the end. For example, hammer, hammers, camera, cameras. Some plural naming words end in ES. When the last letter of singular naming word ends in CH, SH, Z, S, 
or X, we add ES at the end. Click on the word box to know their plural form. Lens, lenses. Quiz, quizzes. Box, boxes. Some plural naming words end in IES. When the singular naming word ends in a consonant, all letters except A, E, I, O, U plus Y, we change Y to I and add ES. Click on the word box to see some examples. Battery, batteries. Family, families. Body, bodies. Party, parties. Based on what you learned, answer the following questions. Click on the Begin button to answer the questions. Drag each naming word and place it in the correct box. You are right. Choose the correct option. How many dash are there in the lab? Click on the submit button to check your answer. Correct answer. Choose the correct option. Do you have any dash? Click on the submit button to check your answer. This is incorrect. The correct answer is, do you have any gloves? Choose the correct option. These dash are not working. Click on the submit button to check your answer. Correct answer. Choose the correct option. What is the plural form of the word company? Company. Companies. Correct answer. Choose the correct option. What is the plural form of the word dictionary? Dictionary, dictionaries. Correct answer. Some naming words have the same singular and plural naming word. The following are some examples. Here is a task for you. Find out by a Google search the plural of the following words. Community, Resume, Workplace, Desktop, Colleague, Allowance. Use them in sentences of your own. Now that we have completed the lesson, share what you have learned from this lesson. Choose the options from the menu. What I learned from this lesson. The meaning of singular naming words. The meaning of plural naming words. How to change singular naming words to plural naming words. Thank you for sharing what you learned from this lesson. Here is a recap of what you learned in this lesson. A naming word used to name only one person, thing, place or an idea is called a singular naming word. 
a naming word used to name more than one person thing place or an idea is called a plural naming word we have to replace the last letter of a singular naming word with s or es or ies to make it a plural naming word some naming words remain the same in both singular and plural forms click on the download button to download this recap now that we have completed this lesson let's assess ourselves to understand our own learning based on what you learnt in the lesson choose if you feel like a seed plant or tree excellent work well done try to help others learn this concept all the best Congratulations on completing this lesson. See you in the next lesson.